Here we have plant gang Juncus inflexus, the rush, sometimes called common rush, sometimes called blue rush, because there's a lot of cultivars in particular that have been selected uh, for its blue color. I know there's one called blue arrow out there uh, that's quite popular, uh, but look at this upright stiff habit of this plant. Uh, it's been planted just where I like it, in a container. It looks great, but it also looks good in the garden. Now, uh, when we think about rush, we also often think of plants that can handle standing water or very wet, boggy conditions. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you, in my experience, jun Juncus inflexus can also handle some dry conditions in the garden. And so it does make a good choice for a variety of conditions, in particular in full sun to partial shade in the landscape, uh, because of its, its form and its texture that it brings to the garden. Juncus inflexus, uh, considered a rush or a sedge, it's in the family Juncaceae. Uh, it is native to Europe and hardy from zones four through nine. In, that, in those colder zones, zones four, five, probably six, you're gonna see this nearly die back down to the ground, turn brown and die back down to the ground. As you move up in zone, zone high zone seven, eight, and nine, uh, you're gonna see this persist quite well through the winter time. And for those higher zones, six, seven, eight, nine, probably especially high zone seven, eight, nine, uh, you're gonna see this used quite impactfully as a winter container plant, uh, as structure in the garden for the winter garden, because it really does hold on to its foliage even through cold conditions. So plants can take a little bit of time to establish, but once they establish, they will slowly spread by creeping rhizomes. Uh, and under the most optimum growing conditions, they can actually uh, propagate themselves by freely seeding in the garden. Uh, I do recommend that you propagate this in the garden by divisions, in particular in the early spring. Uh, and again, foliage typically dies back in those colder winter climates, but then it'll emerge again in the spring. Uh, in warm summer climates, foliage may also survive winter, uh, but needs to be probably cut back in early spring just to kind of tidy up the plant just in general. Again, hardy from zones four through nine, this is a great plant uh, to add to all different kinds of uh, situations in the landscape. And here's a landscape tip may be grown at the edge of a pond or water garden in boggy areas.